It is a sunny day during an early summer in Izu, southeastern part of Japan. Women divers are harvesting acre weeds, called tenguza in Japanese, by skin diving. Acre weeds have small branches like brooms. Tenguza, or Gelidium amansi, in scientific name, is a kind of red seaweed. Tenguza grows from May to August every year on rocks at the bottom of the sea, several meters deep from the surface of water. These tenguza can be processed into several kinds of delicious food, such as these sweet appetizers and this Japanese-style confectionery. How can the broom-shaped tenguza become tasty food? Let's learn about that together. Divers harvest about 150 kilograms of tenguza and come back to the shore in two hours or so. The harvested tenguza is first washed with the river water to rinse the seawater. After this, each diver measures the amount of the seaweed and spreads it in the sun on the sand beach. Tenguza is dried completely under the sunshine. The dry tenguza is transferred to be classified by skillful women workers in the storehouse. Tenguza is bound into 20 kilograms each and then sent to the successive process of manufacturing. When walking in Nishi Izu, you will find interesting sideboards everywhere. They say Kokoro Buto in Japanese. It is an old name of Tokoroteng, but what is Tokoroteng? Tokoroteng is the solidified extract from tenguza. Dry tenguza is boiled for several hours and its extraction is solidified in the low temperature. It looks like jelly, but not sweet. The best way to enjoy it is cutting this jelly into strips and eating it with vinegar and soy sauce. However, not all people like tokoroteng because of its distinctive odor of seaweed. Tokoroteng is not an ingredient for delicious desserts or Japanese confectionery. Kanten is used instead. Then, how can we make kanten? There is a folk tale related to kanten. About 300 years ago, a vassal from Shimazu Domain stayed at the place of Mino Taroemon. He served tokoroteng and treated the vassal well. After dinner, he threw the remnants of the tokoroteng soup outside. It was a cold night. The soup was frozen and changed into something that looked like strings the next day. He wondered what it was and tried boiling it. He could get something like tokoroteng, but odorless. It was wonderful transparent jelly. He tried to improve and succeeded producing kanteng. The word kanteng means dried in the cold open air. Kanteng is indeed dried tokoroteng. In winter at the Suwa Basin, 
the night temperature decreases to minus 5 to 10 degrees Celsius and increases over 0 degree during daytime. Since Tokoroteng is frozen at night and defrosted and dried in daytime, this place has suitable condition for production of kanteng. The rice fields at the Suwa Basin are used to produce kanteng in winter. Tokoroteng is left out in the open air for about two weeks before it becomes dried kanteng completely. This process repeats successively throughout winter, but sometimes it is interrupted by rain or snow. People are worried about the weather all the time. Tengusa is harvested in early summer and transferred to the mountainside for production of kanten in winter. Now, let's take a look at the traditional production process of kanten. At 5 o'clock in the morning, a giant iron oven is heated and the dried tenguza is boiled for several hours. Boiling process enables us to obtain the substance extracted from tenguza. After boiling, tenguza is filtered by cotton sheet under the pressure of the stone weight. The hot extract is poured into containers and kept cool for solidification. The extract converts from liquid to solid because chain of galactose molecules is placed in order when the temperature decreases. The solidified extract is cut into oblong pieces and exposed in open air. This production method of kanteng has been passed down from generation to generation for 300 years. Meanwhile, there are also companies producing kanteng in large scale using modern technology. The basic process is the same as the traditional way but the modern technology enables fully automated operation and the weather condition has no impact on the production at all. Therefore, content can be produced throughout the year. Here, the solidified extract is dried up by machine. A freeze-dry method is also adopted. In this factory, Flake-typed kanten for various purposes is produced instead of oblong kanten. The mass production of content in a factory requires large amount of tenguza. Harvest-wise, it is impossible to entirely depend on manpower such as women divers. Therefore, large amount of tenguza is imported from around the world, especially from South America. But the quality of tenguza differs among areas. Factories in Japan need to estimate the quality carefully before mixing tenguza from different places to obtain the best quality. 
content has become very popular among younger generations in Japan as diet food. It contains higher level of fibers. Fibers cannot be digested by human enzymes, and the intestinal bacteria do not dissolve the content substances. Content is, therefore, completely non-calorie food. Content also lessens cholesterol and sugar in the blood, and it helps prevent intestine cancer. Furthermore, content is widely utilized in various fields thanks to its special characteristics. Content are indispensable for bacteria cultivation. It is also used for electric chromatography in bioscience, formation of denture mold in dentistry, and so on. to utilize content are being researched and developed. It will soon contribute even more to our daily life. Content, the traditional food of Japan, has played important roles in various fields. We hope that it will be used more widely around the globe.